Hi, I am Clean O'Connor and I am back in the Cash and Carry kitchens today. I am going to show you a really simple recipe that is perfect for coffee morning with friends. We are going to make a granola and then we are going to make a little granola jar with some yogurt, some stewed apple and our homemade granola. I am cooking today in the Augusta two-tone kitchen. So we'll start off by cooking the granola. It's really easy. There's a few ingredients and um, anyone can make it. So I'm starting with some jumbo oats. So I simply pop them into my bowl. Then I am going to get some cashew nuts, some pecan nuts and some almonds. Now again, you can change this to your own personal taste. If there's one of these you don't like, obviously, you can leave them out. Um, so I get these, I'm going to pop them on my chopping board and I am going to chop them roughly so that there's not huge big chunks, but I don't like them too small either. And then I am going to add them in to my porridge oats. So we pop them in the bowl. Then I'm going to add some pumpkin and some sunflower seeds in on top. So this is all really healthy stuff. I'm going to add them in and then I do like just a little bit of salt not loads and then we just give that a quick mix so i'm going to grab my dates i put them on the hob about five minutes ago um handful of dates some fresh orange juice you can use water as well i like to use orange juice because it just gives it that little extra flavor and i simmered them for about five six minutes so that the, the dates get nice and juicy then i am simply going to pop them into a blender, any blender will do. You can use a stick blender, whatever you have. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of maple syrup, add it in. And then I have some extra orange juice if I need, but we'll give it a go with what we have for now. And I'm gonna give these a quick blitz to make, make a puree out of them. So we give it a quick blend. Have a look inside see what we have i'm going to add a little bit of juice to that just to make it a little bit easier to work with i'm going to pop that in just give it another little mix and then i'm simply going to add this in on top of my oats and I'm going to mix that all around. So this is kind of like the sweetness, the glue that holds it all together. Now we're going to, I'm going to pop that into my sink. That's why I love that sink is in such a handy spot. It's um, really easy just to chuck your stuff in. And if you've got your friends over, you still are not abandoning them to go off and start washing stuff. So I'm just going to mix this. So I'm just coating the oats and the nuts with the, the date and the orange juice. And then I am going to pour a little bit of olive oil in. I know you can use coconut oil as well. I just use whatever is in my cupboard. I like them both equally. So totally personal choice again. So we're going to give that a good mix so that everything is coated. And then when we put that in the oven, it'll go nice and toasty because that's what you want with your granola. You want it to go nice and crunchy. So we're going to pop them all into the baking tray, which I have lined. And we're going to spread it out nice and thinly. So don't put it into the oven in a big lump. Spread it out nice and thinly so that it'll all get nice and toasted. And then we are going to pop it into the oven and then I can enjoy coffee with my friends. Right, so the granola has been in the oven for a roughly about an hour and a quarter. Um, I mixed it halfway through, so I'm going to take it out now and we will add the raisins and we will leave it cool down before we build our granola pots. So it's gorgeous, the smell. I wish you could smell this. It's so good. So we'll leave that to cool. I am going to go over here, grab some raisins. I absolutely love this prestige larder. How cool is that? So get some raisins. I just love the fact that like you could have your coffee machine in here and you could just tidy it all away or your toaster. And then when your friends are coming around, because I am a demon for making a mess, you can just hide all the mess in there and nobody knows the difference. So we'll sprinkle on some of these raisins. Give it a mix, just don't burn your hands. But we are gonna move this out of the way just to leave it cool. And I am gonna grab 
some apples and I'm going to make a really easy stewed apple. Again, this one's super healthy as well because I'm not using cooking apples. I'm using Pink Ladies, so you don't have to add any sugar. It is all already there, so it's nice and um, nice and healthy. Again, this is probably the most time consuming bit of this is peeling all these apples. But anyway, we'll do that and then we're going to stew them. Right, so one of the features I love as well in this kitchen is that you can take all your compostable waste and you can pop it into the sink and there's a waste disposal unit in the sink that will just magically make your waste disappear. <laughs> this is really handy. So I'm going to roughly chop these apples. And I can pop that into the, the sink straight away. It's kind of satisfying. So I love that in this space, it's all really compact and it's really sociable. So like, you know, even if the kids were sitting there or, you know, if your friends, when they're coming over, you can like talk to them when you're prepping and you're not turning your back to them. And it's really kind of cozy. So we chop our apples roughly and then I'm just going to pop them in a pan with a little bit of water and then I'm going to stew them for about 20 minutes until they're nice and soft. Right, so I have let that apple stew for about 20 minutes. And um, now I am just gonna take it off the heat, pour it into a little bowl, and um, we'll just leave it to cool. So while this cools, I'm just gonna grab some glasses because we will make our little granola pots. Um, how gorgeous is this glass dresser? So you can keep all your um, beautiful glassware or crockery inside in it. And not only is it functional, it makes a beautiful display in the house. You can style it up any way you prefer. These are so easy to make. So I like to start with the yogurt at the bottom. You don't have to, and there's no science to it, but I find sometimes if you don't put the granola at the bottom, it tends to leak down and it just doesn't look as pretty. It'll taste the same. <laughs> so just a little bit of yogurt at the bottom. And then I like to do some granola next. And then some apple. So it's really easy, like you're just layering it up. Add in some more yogurt. Now remember the glasses are quite big, so like you don't have to put absolutely piles of everything in because they won't be able to finish them. And some more granola. Layer it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'd probably put just a little bit more yogurt on top. just so they can mix it all around. And I'll put a little bit more, just. And a blob of applesauce maybe. So that is my granola pots made. They're really easy and perfect for a coffee morning with friends. I can totally picture myself in this kitchen, relaxed, sitting back, enjoying it. I love the contrasting dark gray with the light gray. I think it's a gorgeous entertaining space and I hope you enjoy the recipe.